Hey, I'm Kevin and welcome back to the channel. Now, I know a lot of you are put off by the fact that you need to pay an annual fee to use a credit card. Well, in this video, we'll be talking about how you could still be putting money back in your pockets with the best $0 no annual fee credit cards. So in no special order, let's talk about the Discover It cashback credit card, which is not only one of the better no annual fee cards out there, it's also an amazing starter card. This card offers 5% cashback in special categories throughout the year with some big ones in 2021 being grocery stores, gas stations, restaurants, PayPal, Amazon, and more. And 5% is a lot. For every $100 you're spending, you're getting 5% back. Simple as that. And on top of that, you'll be getting 1% back on all your other purchases, which isn't that great. So if you do exhaust your 5% categories, I'd probably leave the rest of your spend onto other cards that can give you at least 2% back on any purchases, which we'll go over later in the video. Finally, you'll get two times cash back, dollar for dollar, on all the cash back you earn in your first year. That turns this card to an amazing 10% back on the categories and 2 percent back on everything else. I don't think there's another card out there that's giving you this much cash back, at least not in the first year. Hey, if you care for it, there's 25 different card designs you can choose from too. Next up, let's talk about the Amazon Rewards and Amazon Prime Rewards credit cards. With almost 150 million Prime users in the US, which is over half of the US adult population, most of you watching probably have a Prime membership, which will let you qualify for the better Prime version of the card. You'll get 50 or or $100 for signing up for the card in the first place, but the most major perk is that you can get 5% back on all purchases at Amazon and Whole Foods markets. Nowadays, you can probably get anything on Amazon, from your basic needs to electronics. And with no hard cap on how much cash back you can earn from this perk, and if you have Prime membership, then it's basically a no-brainer card. Remember, because it's a no annual fee card, you can open it and just use it when you're spending at Amazon or Whole Foods and get 5% back on all those purchases. On top of that, you'll also get 2% back on restaurants, gas stations, and drugstores, 1% back on everything else, and from time to time, 10% back on certain products. Sometimes you get offers like 6% back on all Amazon purchases during Prime Day, to an extra 5% back on bonus categories, offers up to 4% back on everything you buy with the card, which is pretty insane, or up to 20% cash back on certain items like electronics and furniture. All right, then we have a couple cards from US Bank, with the first one being the US Bank Cash Plus card. This is another one of those category-based cashback cards, but what's unique is that this card lets you choose two categories for a 5% cashback up to $2,000 a quarter, and one category for a 2% cashback with no limit. For the 5% cashback, the categories are a bit narrow, from fast food to department stores, but each of these categories also has a select list of merchants that qualify, which does make it a bit hard to use. The 2% categories, on the other hand, are much easier from grocery stores, gas stations, and restaurants. Again, because this is a $0 annual fee card, you can open it and just spend on those high return categories and not use it for anything else. In fact, it's actually good to have cards like this open because it'll give you a higher overall credit limit and lower utilization rate, which is good for your credit score, something we go more in depth on in my video at the top right corner and down below. The second US Bank card I want to mention is the US Bank Altitude Go card. First, you get $200 as a sign up bonus when you hit the minimum spend, but the big perk of this card is getting four times back on takeout, food delivery, and dining. Basically, if you like food and you eat out a lot, four times back or 4% cash back is pretty good, especially with no cap. All right, so let's move on to cards in the city ecosystem with the first one being the City Double Cash Card. This is a card that's been recommended over and over again throughout the years because it's pretty good, giving you basically 2% back on everything you buy. It's simple and it's the reason why I say that you should at least be getting 2% back on all your purchases because you should at least be charging it to a card like this. The Double Cash is an amazing card to accompany something else like say the Discover It cashback card to get 5% in those categories and then 2% here, or City's own new custom cash card. With the custom cash, you're actually getting 5% back on the category you spend most in up to $500 every billing cycle, so every month. And unlike the US bank cards, the categories are pretty broad 
from your restaurants if you eat out a lot to grocery stores, home improvement, and more. Plus, since it's automatic, you don't have to do any extra steps and can be sure you're getting the optimal return from your spend. Combine both of these cards, getting 5% back on these type of categories every month and 2% back on everything else, that's a pretty solid duo. Speaking of a solid duo, we can't talk about amazing no annual fee cards without talking about the Chase ecosystem, with the first card being the Chase Freedom Unlimited. This is a card that gives you $250 when you sign up and hit the min spend, but then also gives you 5% back on travel through their portal, 3% back on dining, 3% back on drugstores, and 1.5% back on everything else. The dining and travel categories are pretty nice, especially with no cap, but note that you're getting points which you can then redeem for cash back at one cent to one point. However, if you watch my other videos, you'll know that the chase points are one of the most flexible points out there, where you can combine with other cards like the CSP and the CSR, and get 1.25 or 1.5 times value through the pay yourself back features or transfer the travel partners and get two, five, or sometimes over 10 cents a point in value when you book for travel like in business class or first class flights. If you're interested in knowing more, check out my video that I break it all down up in the corner and down in the description. So to pair with the Freedom Unlimited, you might wanna consider the Freedom Flex card. This card shares mostly the same multipliers but you're getting 1% back in the everything else category instead of 1.5%. But to make up for that, the highlight perk is that you're getting 5% back on rotating categories up to $1,500 in each quarter with the categories ranging from gas stations to grocery stores and even PayPal. If you want a deeper breakdown on this specific card, I did a whole review that I'll link down below. Just like the city cards, if you have both of these chase cards, they already cover a wide range of spend but in my opinion, the chase points are more valuable. Now moving on to a different company, let's quickly talk about the American Express Blue Cash Everyday card. This is a card where you'll get $250 for signing up and meeting the minimum spend, but then get 3% back on groceries up to $6,000 a year, 2% on gas, 2% on select department stores, and 1% back on everything else. Again, especially with $0 annual fee cards, you can mix and match where you put your spend depending on what categories they have and what limits you're at on these different cards. With this card having 3% back on groceries up to $6,000 a year, it could be a keeper card just based on that. And then we have Bank of America with a customized cash card. With this card, you're getting $200 back when you meet the minimum spend, but then you'll get 3% on a select category, 2% back on groceries and wholesale clubs, all totaling $2,500 each quarter, and then 1% back on everything else. Now, just that alone is nothing that special, but the thing here is that if you bank with Bank of America and you have certain amounts of money with them, these rewards are then elevated. At the highest tier, if you have over $100,000 banked with them, then you're getting an elevated 75% more in credit card rewards. That means your 3% turns into 5.25%, your 2% goes to 3.5%, and 1% goes to 1.75%. Those type of cash back rewards are hard to beat. And an honorary mention, if you do bank with Bank of America and have those amounts, you can consider the unlimited cash rewards card, which is also a good choice. Because instead of the 1.5% unlimited cashback, you'll be getting 2.62% in cashback instead. So there are a ton of credit cards out there with different companies competing with similar or different credit cards, which is amazing for consumers like you and I. In recent times, there's been more and more unique credit cards coming out, like the Apple card, which gives you 3% when you spend on Apple and 2% back on daily spend, or the upcoming X1 card, which is promising up to three times back if you spent over $15,000 or four times back depending on the number of friends you've invited. So maybe in a few years, the whole credit card landscape will be totally different. In general though, $0 annual fee cards are amazing to build a solid foundation of credit cards because you can keep them open forever, getting their credit limit, and then in turn lowering your utilization scores. But once you have a solid foundation though, you'll want to consider more premium credit cards, which can give you way, way more back in rewards. And I'm talking thousands of dollars in rewards. So if that piques your interest, check out my video where I go over some premium cards up in the corner and down below. That said, thank you so much for watching. And I hope that this video gave you enough information to build a strong credit foundation. And as always, invest safe, spend safe, and see you in the next one.